Good morning and welcome to Spa and unfortunately we are not going on the track today as much as it pains me because Eau Rouge is literally over my shoulder. No, instead we are in fact heading to the Nürburgring on our second day of the journey to the Geneva International Motor Show. Now yesterday I drove down from London to Spa in the Ferrari FF with my good friend Faisal. If you haven't seen that video, go back to yesterday and check it out. And today I'm swapping seats and jumping in the XJ220. Let's hit it. Started this 
series where I interview interesting people in cars. And uh, Justin and Don, who are very involved, are owners of the XJ220 program, uh, will give you some really interesting uh, insights into, well, basically setting the record straight on all the myths and BS that, that accompany this platform. Yeah. Look, so it's, anyway. it's great. What have we done? As I said, we've done 18,500 K. Yeah. This one's running uh, a Don Law kind of TWR upgrade pack. Mm -hmm. So it's not running nice. 530, 540 horsepower, it's running near a 700. And by God, can you tell? Yeah. The torque is tangible. It's like this thick ball of butt. You yes. can feel it. It's, it's immense. And it's sexy on its little gold BBS wheels. Yeah. And, look, I wouldn't change anything. It's just magic. Fabulous. I love it. So lit, you have realized childhood dream. Yes, it was my poster child car. That's immense. Yeah, That's so cool, mate. It was. And it's, you know, it's not let me down and I bought yeah. it blind, right? You didn't see it? I hadn't seen it, I hadn't test driven it, I hadn't even sat it. You spoke to Don Direct or you spoke, saw it somewhere? I spoke to Don Direct, so I'd, a little bit of internetery led me to this gentleman called Don and Justin that yeah. had bought the brand. Yeah. Uh, cold called the guy um, and said, look, we're interested in buying a car. Fabulous. Kind of I assume when you bought, so how long have you owned it for? Four years coming up to. So Jaguar were just becoming cool again? You know what, and I, w I wouldn't be lying here if the idea like when, when you've got access to a bit of free capital and you've got the opportunity to buy a car, you kind yeah. of look at what's going on in the market, yeah. or I do at least, yeah. um, and CX-75 had just been announced. Yeah. So me being a little bit of a hedger and a bit of a futurist when it comes to my cars, yeah. I thought, I it oh, oh. Jag have got some steam, they've yeah. got F-Pace, they've cool. got F-Type, they've got CX-75. Why not? Why not? Very and it was a dream. Yeah. And, and they have... Not, let's not skip that. They have gone up in value though. They have. They're doing really well. They have, look, and it's, it's for a car that was half a million quid in the yeah. 90s. Yeah, oh, big money then, big money. You know, there was, money now. there was 50 of them that were sold by a dealer group in, sorry, bought by a dealer group in the south of the UK right. called Grange, and they scooped up a bunch of them for 50,000 pounds. <laughs> Can you imagine Madness, just how eh? far this market tanked into the ground? Good. Anyway, we're now amongst the uh, rolling hills of, of, of Eiffel. And it's checking it And it's starting to sit down. To the Nürburgring. To the Nürburgring. So here's the thing with road trips with passionate petrol heads, photographers and content creators. You find yourself walking down the middle of the road just because we spotted a beautiful forest of which to take a photo in. Case it's in point, Karen down there. <laughs> case in point, this fabulous P1 parks amongst these trees. I've got a photographer here doing his work. I mean, to be fair, that does look fantastic. <laughs> Now I know, I know it's not the season for race circuits right now. Spas closed, Nurburg drinks closed. But ultimately we are actually on our way to Geneva and these are just really cool places to stop. So the attraction right now is the coolest toy shop in the world. The aim of the game was to try and find one of my own cars. There's no LT. I was trying to find an orange LT, but there's not even an LT at all. I've been trying to find some uh, cars that we're on the trip with. Obviously, trying to find that green XJ220 is pretty tricky. We have found a P1, but it's not in red. But what I have found is the F12. However, it's not in Rosso Berlinetta, so doesn't count. If you come to the ring anytime soon, you should definitely check this place out. Quite specific to this XJ220, would you be able to drop the lights? Check the lights. Oh yeah! Retractable lights! One more time! Oh yeah! Look at that! No cover! 
pretty awesome. <laughs> Phil, is that unique to this car? Yeah. It's unique. One of one. Of one. Unique to this car, pretty awesome feature. Just to reiterate, we're very well aware that the, the ring is closed, but while we're here, we are good, we're doing some uh, some proper petrol head sightseeing. What any self-respecting petrol head would do. Absolutely, right and uh, it appears that you can go and have a casual wander on the ring. I mean, I've, so I've only driven this track once, uh, and it was wet, so I didn't really have a very good time of it. But one thing I will say for anyone who hasn't been here. And if you've played it on games, if you've played it on Forza or anything like that, they're, they are phenomenally well mapped, but what they do not give you is a sense of the undulation, right? No, not at all. I mean, it's how, are we, how are we going to be able to clarify this? I don't is know. There, I mean, uh, I'm just going to try and see if they, I mean, is that doing a very good job? I'm going to try and give you some kind of perspective. Load. <laughs> how do we A bit like that. Finally here, long day on the road, Spa Nürburgring and this fabulous chateau, Chateau Nerf de Awesome. I actually have no idea what it's called, but it's cool. Yeah, I think we spent today about 10 hours on the road. I've spent the whole day in the XJ220, which has been marvelous. But now let's head on inside, just chill and edit. All right, another long, but equally awesome day on the road, but it's definitely now our time to call that a day because tomorrow we are ultimately ending up in Geneva via Bugatti. See you next time. Ciao.